All right, welcome back to the next lesson on how to create Among Us in Unity. For this lesson, we'll go over how to create on-screen controls such as UI joysticks and buttons. But before we get started, please make sure that you're subscribed to our channel so you can be notified whenever we publish new videos. All right, so the first thing that we need to do to implement these on-screen controls is import the sample package. To do this, we're gonna open the Package Manager window and we need to change the Packages drop-down menu to In Project. We then want to select the input system package and we'll expand the samples option. We then want to go down to the on-screen controls sample package and click import. This will add a new folder to your project window and inside this folder we have a sample scene, a button prefab, and a stick prefab. Now before we add these prefabs to our scene we'll want to create a new canvas game object. So you can right click in the hierarchy, go down to UI and select canvas. You can then see that we have three child objects on our canvas. The first is the joystick, but I didn't want to just drag the stick prefab onto the canvas as the stick prefab is just a square button. So instead I created a UI image. You can do this by right clicking on your canvas game object, going down to UI and selecting image. I then renamed this image to stick background. I then anchored this image to the bottom left corner of our canvas and I set it at 100 in the X and Y positions. I then changed the width and height to 200. I then changed the source image to this white circle sprite, which you can either create in Photoshop or download from our website. For this image, you'll then want to change the color so that it's an almost transparent white. The alpha channel is set to 50. Once you have the stick background created, you can then select the stick prefab and drag it onto the stick background as a child object. You'll then want to make sure that this prefab is anchored and positioned at the center of our stick background object. You'll then want to set the source image to the same white circle sprite only this time we're going to leave the color to 100% opacity. The last change that we need to make to this prefab is on the child text object where I've deleted the text field so that it's just blank. You could probably also just delete the text child object but this will make you modify the prefab and so it's easier to just disable this text object or remove the value of the text field. The other important thing to notice about the stick prefab is the on-screen stick script. This script allows you to change the movement range of the joystick, but I'm going to leave it at 50. And it also allows you to change the control path, which is essentially the key binding for the joystick. And it's currently set at left stick gamepad which is what we want to keep it as. But one thing to note, if we were creating a first person shooter and we needed a second joystick, we could just duplicate our stick background, reposition it on the right hand side, and then change the control path to right stick gamepad. But we don't need this for our game. For the next two child objects of our canvas, we just need to drag on the button prefab twice. I've then renamed the first button to report button and the second to kill button. Both of these two buttons are anchored and positioned off of the bottom right corner of our canvas. And all we have to do for each of these buttons is scroll down to the on-screen button script and change the control path for the report button to R keyboard. And for the kill button, we want it to be space keyboard. I've then changed the text objects of each of these buttons so that the report button reads report and the kill button reads kill. And the last thing that we need to do is open up our AU player prefab. And you'll want to double check that the key bindings for the kill input action and the report input action are the same as what we've set for those two buttons. And so the kill input action is space keyboard and the report input action is R keyboard. We then just need to add a new key binding to the WASD input action. So you can click the plus sign and select add binding. You can then double click on the second option and set the path to left stick gamepad. And that's everything that we need to do to add on-screen controls using the new input system for our Among Us game. Now let's test out our project. All right, so here I have my UI controls and I can use my mouse to click on the left joystick. And as I move it around, you can see that it moves my player as well. I can then walk up to another player and press the kill button and the kill button works. And then I can also press the report button and it reports the bodies. If you enjoyed this lesson, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.